Hello, I'm Dr. Melissa Coleman, a trustee of the Wood Library Museum of Anesthesiology, and I'm here today to speak to you about the Waters Airway. Dr. Ralph Waters was a prominent anesthesiologist and likely most well known for his development of the first academic department of anesthesiology and residency program at the University of Wisconsin. He made numerous contributions to the science of anesthesiology and today we are featuring the oral airway that he developed around 1930. He was a keen student and teacher of human physiology and anatomy with an interest in the methods of artificial ventilation. Oral airways are placed in the mouth and relieve obstruction by lifting the tongue and creating a passage for air movement. One of his former students, Dr. Betty Bamforth, recounted a common phrase he would teach residents in the operating room. Noisy breathing is obstructed breathing, but obstructed breathing may not be noisy. Waters Airway first appeared in the Forager Company catalog in 1930. It is constructed of metal and the shape contours the oral pharynx and the lumen is oval in shape. The shape is in contrast to another common airway of the day, which is the Phillips airway and is more rounded. He also added a side port to the airway which could be used for suctioning oral secretions or administering oxygen. The construction of his airway was very similar to the Connell airway, which was created around 1915. The addition of the side port was the main modification, and both airways were constructed of metal to prevent obstruction by biting on a softer material. Dr. Waters' friend, Dr. Arthur Goodell, modified his airway just a few years later, and in 1933 produced this airway, which is similar in design, but made of rubber to minimize the damage that was done to teeth and oral mucosa by the metal construction. This, however, does have a metal insert to decrease the effects of biting on the airway. Thank you for joining me in learning more about Dr. Waters' airway. There's much more information on Dr. Waters on the Wood Library Museum webpage, woodlibrarymuseum.org. Thank you.